Okay, we're working in intermediate algebra. This is section 6.6. .6. It starts on page 253 of your book. If you're following along, taking notes, we're going to be finding the vertex of a quadratic function or the vertex of a parabola by inspection. Okay, example one it says find the vertex of the quadratic function f of x equals negative x minus 2 squared plus 3. And this is similar to um, what we were doing in the last section. We were graphing these functions. Um, and we could put a real quick, let's, let's put some notations on here. We know that this negative here will cause my parabola to open down. Um, that affects the way the parabola looks, but it doesn't affect where the vertex is. So this negative is not really going to affect my vertex. This minus 2 is a horizontal shift in the left direction, so this will affect my vertex. And this plus 3 is a vertical shift up. So if we, um, if we can picture this, let's put a graph on here. All right, so we're going to um, we're going to put our vertex on here. We're going to move left to. I'm sorry, that's not going to be left. It's going to be right. I made a mistake there. This will be right. We're going to move right two and up three. So right two and up three. We'll put my vertex up here at the point two. All right, the rest of the parabola goes just like this, um, but the point is here we're supposed to be finding the vertex. So you can look at this. This gives you the x-coordinate with the opposite sign because it's the opposite direction of the sign. So the x-coordinate is 2. This always gives you the y-coordinate. So the vertex for this function is going to be at the point 2, 3. Now we're going to be able to do this without graphing just by looking at a function when it's in, and this is what we call vertex form of the function. The negative out here does not affect the vertex. Also um, a different coefficient would not affect the vertex. The only thing that affects a vertex are here. This is the x coordinate with the opposite sign and this will be the y coordinate. So here we have example 2 f of x equals x plus 3 squared minus 4. We're going to find the vertex by inspection. So we're not going to graph it this time. We're going to remember that this is the horizontal shift, so this is uh, affecting our x-coordinate. So the x-coordinate of our vertex has the opposite sign of our function. So since this is a plus sign, our x-coordinate for our vertex is a negative 3. And the y-coordinate comes from here with the same sign. So the vertex for this function will be at negative 3, 4. Or negative 3, negative 4. All right, example 3 says find the vertex by inspection. So remember, this inside the square is affecting the x-coordinate. This gives us the x-coordinate with the opposite sign. So the x-coordinate here will be positive 1. And outside of the square over here is the y-coordinate, which will be negative 2. So the vertex for this function is at 1, negative 2. Example 4 says find the vertex by inspection. x plus 5 squared plus 4. The vertex. This is the x coordinate with the opposite sign, so the x coordinate will be negative 5. This is the y coordinate here, positive 4. So the vertex for this function is negative 5, 4. All right, example 5 is on the, the bottom of page 254. Again, we're finding the vertex of the function f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. All right, already we can tell this is not in vertex form. I can't see the shifts inside. I can't see the horizontal shift 
and I can't see the vertical shift on the outside because this is in standard form instead of vertex form. Um, instead, when I have a quadratic uh, function in this form, I'm going to use a formula called the vertex formula. I'm going to write this here. The vertex formula says I can find the x-coordinate by making a ratio of negative b over 2a. Right, it is part of the quadratic formula if you recognize it. And the coefficients will be a, b, c. You don't need the c for this formula. You only need a and b. So a is going to be 1. b is going to be negative 4. And I'm going to find the x. This gives me the x-coordinate for the vertex by putting this in here. So negative b will be negative negative 4 and don't be confused again this negative is always there and since b was negative this is two negatives together and over 2a or 2 times 1 so this becomes 4 over 2 which is 2 now this is only the x coordinate of the vertex so I already have the x coordinate here so I'm just going to start labeling this the vertex has an x-coordinate of 2. I still don't know what the y-coordinate is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that f of x is actually standing for y. So if I take my x-coordinate, I plug it in and evaluate this function with x plugged in, it will tell me what y is. So in other words, when x is 2, what does y come out to be? So we're going to put a 2 in there. I'm going to scroll it up. I'm going to write my function again. The function was f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then I'm going to substitute the 2 in here. So that will be 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. 4 minus 8 plus 4 uh, comes out to be 0. So the y-coordinate is 0 for my vertex. Okay, example 6 is at the top of page 255. f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. And again, this is not in vertex form, so we're going to use the vertex formula, which says... negative b over 2a and for this function a is 2 and b is negative 4 so I can plug that in there that will give me the x-coordinate negative b over 2a is positive 4 over 4 which is 1 so my vertex has an x-coordinate of 1. That's great. Once you use this formula, it tells you the x-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate, you plug it back in and evaluate it. So we're going to scroll up. Please. Please scroll up. Our function was f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. We're going to substitute the 1 in here for x. So 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 5. Do not forget order of operations that you must square before you multiply. So this will be 2 times 1 because 1 squared is 1. 2 minus 4 plus 5 makes 3. So our vertex has a y-coordinate of 3. Okay, example 7 says find the vertex. f of x equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 13. This is not in vertex form. We can't see the shifts, so we're going to uh, use that vertex formula 
which says x equals negative b over 2a. For this function, a is 4 and b is 16. So we're going to plug them in. Negative b will be negative 16 over 2a, 2 times 4. Negative 16 over 8 reduces to make negative 2. So this function has an e a vertex with an x-coordinate of negative 2. The formula only tells us the x-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate, you have to take your x, put it back in your formula, substitute it in here, and evaluate, simplify. So, scrolling up, maybe. I'm going to rewrite our function. f of x equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 13. And then I'm going to substitute my x coordinate in here and simplify for y. So 4 times negative 2 squared plus 16 times negative 2 plus 13. Do not forget order of operations. You have to square first before you multiply. So negative 2 squared is 4. So this turns into 4 times 4 which is 16. Here, 16 times negative 2 is negative 32 plus 13. All right, 16 minus 32 is negative 16 here, plus 13 makes negative 3. So we have a y-coordinate of negative 3. So our vertex has a y-coordinate of negative 3. For this function, the vertex is at negative 2, negative 3. All right, I'm going to break the video here. We will um, look at the graphing calculator. We will definitely do in class. I um, might talk about it a little bit on the next video. And uh, the word problems that are on page 258 will be in the next video. So come back for part B.